Hey, you want so this will be a video on an Amazon stylus that is compatible with the Amazon Fire devices here. So I have my 2019 Fire HD 10 and my 2020 Fire HD 8 Plus. So this is the stylus. This is the one that I have. And of course, there are many different ones on Amazon, but they're all basically going to be the same. So this is the NTH Joys 2-in-1 rechargeable pen stylus here. So... Let's go to some good stuff and then some bad stuff. So good stuff is the price. This is $21 compared to an Apple Pencil of $100 or $120. This is way cheaper. Right out of the box, this will work and it works with any device. So not only your Amazon devices, but works with iPad, works with Samsung, works with uh, Microsoft Surface. So it works with pretty much everything. Another good thing is, and again, it works right out of the box. You hit this button right here. Well, and it works. Uh, this is only, I only have one page on here. That's why it won't move. Uh, yeah, and it works right away. Another good thing is the battery life. This thing lasts a very long time. Uh, you should, yeah, you should be get a very long time of use out of it before you need to charge it. And it just, and it includes, of course, the charger. It's just a micro USB charger and it charges pretty quick. Another good thing is there's actually two stylus on here. So you have the main one here, which is like your pen, Point one, and then this is like your normal looking stylus as well. Another good thing is the feel in your hand as well as this clip. So it's a clip, of course you can clip it onto something and it feels pretty sturdy. And this feels like an actual pen in your hand. So if you do want to do some writing, it doesn't feel awkward. Uh, you know, it's not too small, it's not too big, it feels very good. All right, let's go ahead and use this again. We'll use it on both of these devices here. I was going to go ahead and jump onto Soap Browser here. I hope you guys should turn it on first, though. So, just tapping stuff works very well. Uh, of course, there is no like hovering, so, like on, on like uh, a Surface Pen. You know, if you hover above something, it will open up that little menu, and it'll show you what it is and stuff like that. This will, of course, not do that. But hitting stuff, it is very responsive. It works very well. With both the HD 8 Plus and the HD 10. And that goes for the back side as well. So I said that. It works very well for just using... This in place of your finger for tapping stuff, this works very, very well. Uh, you, you can hear it though. So it definitely makes some noise. And it's not supposed to scratch anything and it has not scratched any of my devices yet. So that is also a good thing there. All right, now let's go into some coloring here. So we have our page. Um, well, not coloring, but some drawing. I am not a good drawer. I cannot draw worth anything. So on the, on these devices, there is definitely some lag. Uh, if you try doing something like this, sometimes you don't get any thing at all. Whereas if you just tap it, it does. But if you're kind of sitting there wiggling it. We have a very, very small amount of, we call that ink showing up there. Uh, so I'm going to draw in some teeth. And you can see, so for drawing, this is not very good. Uh, there were comments on the Amazon, on the Amazon's Pride page that said this is good. From my experience, this is not good. So I'm gonna try and write my name here. And hopefully you guys can see that it comes in very bad. So it definitely has some bad baggage. It doesn't always wanna write what you're trying to write there. Uh, so for drawing and handwriting, I would say this is not good. And especially if you compare that to a S Pen or the Surface Pen or the Apple Pen, 
this is nowhere near the same uh, as far as writing and drawing with it. Uh, which is a shame because, you know, that's what it's really made for, I would say. Let's go ahead. Okay. I was trying to delete that. Da, 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 da. It won't let me. There we go. So, if you want this pen for writing on an Amazon tablet, I would stay away. It works a little bit better if you just go straight down, but even then, it's bad. It is not good for writing. Uh, so, like, again, it is good for just using it in place of your finger for scrolling through things. And for typing things... But otherwise, there are, well, yeah, it's just not the best for writing. So, so yeah, that is my review on this guy. Uh, maybe there are better options out there on the Amazon store. I really wish Amazon themselves would make a stylus for this. I mean, even if they charged like 20 or 40, 50 bucks for the thing, um, which is almost the price of the age, uh, which is about the price of the seven. Uh, I think as long as it actually worked correctly, it'd be nice. Um, this thing I said got really good reviews as you guys saw there, but it just, in my experience with it, not the best. Uh, on my iPad, I tried using it on the iPad. What you, you start drawing something and it would just erase all your lines. Like you'd be, and the entire line you just drew, gone, just disappear. On my Tab A7 from Samsung, works a bit better, but still is not great. Um, so again, if you want this just for in place of your finger for, for touching things, it works fantastic. Uh, either end, if you want something for drawing or writing, it is not so good. All right, guys, thank you all for watching. Hopefully this is helpful. Maybe it's just my own experience, I don't know. It's like I said, it got almost five stars on Amazon. Uh, let me know what you guys think, especially if you have one of these or a different brand, because I know Amazon has a whole bunch of different versions of this pen from different brands and different prices. Uh, this one was $21. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a good one. See you all next time. Goodbye.